Here we have a couple of Compact Logics processors, and for many years now, when they've come from the factory, they've come with no firmware. Now, it's important to know that when you flash a device with firmware, when you flash one of Rockwell's PACs with firmware, you need to make sure nothing is, interrupts the process. So this is similar to when you flash your TV, when you flash your phone, when you flash your tablet, when you flash your Blu-ray player. All electronic devices have a very difficult time recovering from a bad firmware flash. With that said, let's talk about our options here. One, the first option, if you have the USB port, I highly recommend flashing via USB. It's easy, it's quick, and it's a one-to-one -one connection so nothing can interrupt the communications. Uh, kind of as a second option, you can do it over Ethernet, but here's the thing. If you're going to flash over Ethernet, make sure you're on a one-to-one -one connection with the processor. And I would typically recommend going through a switch because your computer will disconnect and reconnect from the Ethernet. Your computer, Windows, will disable and re-enable your Ethernet card when it sees the Compact Logics reboot. So again, if you're going to flash via Ethernet, I want to recommend that you use a switch and you have only your laptop and the processor on the network at the same time. The final way you can flash these processors is if they have a serial port, but I highly recommend you don't do that. It, I've had flashes take over an hour via serial. Now what's the chances that nobody's going to kick out that cable or your computer's not going to go to sleep or you're not going to lose power for a whole hour? So I highly recommend you never flash over serial unless it's a last resort. In that case, make sure nobody shuts off power, make sure your computer's not going to go to sleep so the flash can complete successfully. And that's it for this episode of the Automation Minute.